I'm coach Joseph Correa and today I'd like to talk to you about the Alcaraz forehand. Now Alcaraz has been extremely successful and a major part of his success is his forehand. What is his secret? How does he generate all that power on the forehand? Well let's go over his forehand. I'm going to break it down step by step so that you can try to imitate or replicate his forehand and get the same results. So first of all you got to make sure you have the correct grip. For the Alcaraz forehand you want to make sure you have a point of contact out in front and with spin in order to generate spin and power you want to have the right grip. So we're going to go ahead and put your go ahead and put your hand on your strings and you're going to slide it down and you're going to go all the way to the bottom and then you want to double check that you that you have the right grip by making sure that your strings are facing the floor. They got to be parallel to the floor. Once you know you have this grip then you have the proper grip for spin and power just like Alcaraz. Now some people hold a more continental grip, some people hold a more eastern grip, and some people have a more full western extreme grip. Now all of these have their advantages and disadvantages but be, to be able to have like an intermediate grip where you could do many types of things besides um, top spin and flat you want to make sure that you have the Alcaraz forehand grip. So you want to make sure it's the semi-western grip. Okay let's move on to number two. So for the Alcaraz forehand you want to make sure that besides that you have your feet in proper position. He generates so much power just from his legs and this happens because of the coiling position he's able to get into with his feet and his legs. Having your feet perfectly a parallel or a parallel to the side fence or sideways is not the goal. You want to have a little bit of a slight angle. Why? Because you want to make sure your body gets enough turn to be able to get the ball across the court or cross court as well as down the line. Number two, you want to make sure that your knees are bent and your hips are coiled. You want to focus on your right hip. So your right hip every time you make contact should point at the net when you make contact. So what will this do? This will force your shoulders to turn and your hands to follow. Now, as you can see, every time I do this and I turn my body, you're going to see that my toes turn as well on both feet. Don't worry about that. That's perfectly fine. That's the natural process of turning that hip. That's what's supposed to happen. So that's perfectly fine. So when you get in position, the ball comes. You get in position, you turn, you coil, you get that right hip coiled, and then you turn on that right hip so that you can generate power on that right hip. Now, if you need to extend your legs out for an open stance position and then bend your knees, same thing. Right hip points forward and that's perfectly fine. You got to adapt to whatever comes your way. Next thing you need to remember on the Alcaraz forehand is to make contact out in front and with your racket slightly diagonal forward. Having a racket that's facing perfectly uh, per perpendicular to the floor or standing straight is not the ideal position because when the ball comes hard and fast the ball will bounce and bounce end up tilting up or going up. No matter how much spin you put the ball is still going to tilt up. The ideal position you want to have is a racket that's slightly tilted so when the ball bounces makes contact with the racket it still goes in a forward motion not upwards motion forward motion. Now let's get the, the, uh, the position for the topspin right. To be able to generate enough topspin what you want to do is when you make contact with the ball, right before making contact, you need to increase the speed of your racket head. So your racket head speed needs to go up on contact. And then when you make contact, you want to make sure that the follow through is across your left side of your body if you're a righty. And if you're a lefty, it would be the opposite. So when you make contact, I don't want to see this, the racket still on your right side of your body. I don't want to see the racket in front of you. I want to see the racket all the way across. So you're going to get maximum rotation to generate enough power. Okay, now if we will go ahead and put all these components together, this is what the Alcaraz forehand would look like. You're going to go ahead and bend your knees, you're going to coil, you're going to get your left shoulder, left hand out in front, and then when you make contact, we're going to turn that hip, and then we're going to come all the way across with the proper grip. As you can see, nice clean crisp forehands. Now the last thing I did want to mention on the Alcaraz forehand is that you'll notice that a lot of times he pushes forward into the court as if something like a magnet is pulling him towards the net. That's what you should also focus on. That's the main bonus tip I'm giving you right now. Go forward on your forehand. 
by having your, your body tilting towards the court, not backwards, you'll generate more power because you're also knocking into the ball with the weight of your body. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, remember to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Good luck.